Hey, hello there Capricorn. Welcome to your monthly reading for August of 2018. This is a general predictive card reading. More extensive readings can be booked by clicking on the link below. Your every comment earns you an entry to win a free reading. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified for when you win. Remember to check out your past video predictions. They will resonate more clearly when the week has arrived. Okay Capricorn, I have blessed shuffled and meditated over this reading just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the month. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. Number 13 of the Rider Waite deck in the Major Arcana. Number 13, Death. That stands for change and renewal. It's transformation and destruction and then renewal. It's an ending. It's new life and new opportunities. There is something that you need to release and it may be painful. This is transition. It's letting go. It's looking for a new path. Could be a change in your job or relationship or a long-standing belief. This is a new chapter or a new idea. And this card is ruled by Saturn and is the Zodiac card of Scorpio. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path, the immediate future. The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, the energy that's crossing over your path is fast, rapid, movement, action, maybe even air travel. Things are happening rapidly. It's going to be a very busy, exciting, and hopeful period. Positive things are going to unfold. It's the end of delay. There's messages, maybe letters of love through emails. Sometimes it's love at first sight and being swept off your feet. It's approach to a goal and reaching a conclusion. There will be a quick resolution. Stands for surprises and opportunities and acting quickly and multitasking and some definitely quick results. Your third card and this is how it affects you. The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is bringing in air energy. Could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This stands for vigilance and news about truth and justice. Conflicts are going to clear out. There's been some nervousness and anxiety, maybe spying, like through the internet. There's news of difficulties. You need to analyze and strategize to confront others. Someone may behave in a risky manner. It's the overconfidence or ignorance of youth, and this can cause strife. There may be rumors and gossip, or maybe even a deceitful person around you. Your fourth card, it's the future, the outcome, the results, the advice. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is bringing in Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn stands for fertility. This is a generous and regal woman. She respects money as a tool, but she does not worship it. She wants tangible results from the money she distributes, oftentimes a mother. This stands for security and harvest after much labor. Being domestic, there's prudent use of resources. This person loves gardening and cooking and massages. They love comfort and luxury, yet they're still frugal about it. The fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. It's what's unseen. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is fire energy. Or it could be a person. That would be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. That could be a younger man filled with energy and passion and vigor. They like adventure and risk taking. They love fun and travel. This could be a change of residence. There's going to be adventure. 
and good news about work or social activities. There's definitely a message coming to you. You're going to act on impulse, maybe. There are changes on the horizon. You're impatient with the details. This stands for a thrill seeker. They have a good sense of humor and sometimes sexually adventurous. But there is a message and news coming in about a change. Thank you so much, Capricorn. Thank you for your likes and subscribes and comments. Bless you. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light.